Welcome back. Let's give it up for Ray Ray McLeod. How you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm great. Thank you. Yes, so I asked this question earlier about the whole T-Pain video with um, him just saying like all the music just sounds the same these days. Do you agree with him? I think music really is just how you feeling, man. Just you're in the studio, you might walk out the house and see some forces that's dirty. You make a song about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when Nelly did the whatever you said, Air Force, Air Force One. One. Yeah, he yeah, might have yeah. walked out the yeah. room and just seen the forces as he felt like saying it that day. But yeah. Uh, that's just a feeling thing, man. Yeah. Like, he felt that way. That's him. Like, he must. He need to change his uh his playlist. His repertoire. Yeah, yeah it's he need to fix his playlist. <laughs> but you gotta respect. You gotta respect Gaines. He playing was a great one. So yeah, yeah. I heard that um he was approached by Usher back in the day because Usher felt like he messed up the game with auto tune. How do you feel about that? He, he living how you want to live. <laughs> hey, yeah, he get it how you yeah, live, and that's right. that's. I mean. Look at everybody and everybody you kind of using it, you, right? Yeah, right. So I mean, if anything, he changed the game. Yeah, I would say, uh, and he's from Florida, so you can't hold that. He's from Tally, so mm -hmm. I think he changed the game in a big way because uh, mm -hmm. he got hits though. He definitely has hits. So I can't he say nothing about two fans. He's a big dog. <laughs> facts, facts. So what sets you apart from these artists that are out here? Oh, uh, just when I say something, man, it's, you gonna feel it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anything I say is just like you gonna feel it. It's the way. When I when I walk into a room, it's like, dang, his music really like when he talking, it's just it fit him. Everything about him, it's just for me, music is a second passion. But like, I like being. I'm not gonna say no Diddy. I'm gonna say a P before I say Diddy, a Master P before I say a Diddy. But I got you. just I like being the groundwork of it, like putting this artist and that artist together, doing that and creating art that way, yeah. rather than me being on the mic. You know what I'm saying? And but. I, I love being in the studio. Sometimes that's when I'm stressing and stuff. Me going to the studio, it really saw that. That's football for me as well. But yeah. It ain't football, but. I got you. So, okay. So what songs are you performing for us? Uh, today? actually, we got two songs we haven't even put out. Uh, but it's on my documentary. Okay. Uh, that we're dropping, I think, in uh, sometime in October. I think. Uh, but uh, it's Burner and uh, in the streets, and actually got he performing performing, damn both of them. And then another one, the youngest in the youngest in the trial, he he a jewel and he he got a whole little song and that's probably gonna be one of our uh one of the songs we push hard mm -hmm. on the sound on the soundtrack the uh the documentary soundtrack. So tell me more about that. I think that's awesome. You have a documentary coming out. What made you wanna do that? <sighs> me playing football. Okay. It just happened to be like, you know, in football world, the players don't really it's not really player driven, you know. Okay. Uh, so if you don't play football, and focus on football, he looked at it as like, oh, you don't love the game. Mm -hmm. And I, I I dealt with that my first two years in the NFL. Uh, and for me, it was tough, you know, because mm -hmm. it was like, how you going to tell me I don't love something? And he, it, it caused me to go and, you know, I built anger management. Mm -hmm. And I had to go, you know what I'm saying, I go there before and stuff. But yeah. once I, I got my dad jumped back into the game, uh, we got Blaywell Muhammad. He's, he's one of the top writers. <laughs> Long tweets. He been in the game for a while. I don't even know how long, but he got two Grammys. And he just jumped on board with us, and it just it's it's different for me. That is, like I said, you gotta go through your trial and tribulations, yeah. and now it's it's moving. I was supposed to move, and even my team I'm on, I'm on a different team than I was my first two years. Mm -hmm. You just see a different avenue. You just see a different structure. Like when I wake up and I want to go to work, mm -hmm. you know they don't care what you do all the fish as long as you take care of your business in this building. Yeah, and you know, uh, end of the day. You gonna do what you love, yeah. And so after football, I, I feel like this is what I'm gonna do. Like I, I would have a studio in my house just cause. Yeah. I, that's how I like being around music. So being an athlete, do you think that discipline has helped you in the music industry? Has it kept you focused? Does it kind of blend in? It has to. Okay. I think football is uh, a life sport. Mm -hmm. You know, you need in order to quarterback to get the ball, somebody got to snap it to him, mm -hmm. and. Uh, for the quarterback to have time, the O line got a block, or the receiver got to touch the ball, O line got a block, mm -hmm. or for the running back to score, O line got a block. Yeah. Same thing on defense, and you know, uh, 
But and it's about when you build a team, everybody gotta know their role. Everybody gotta put that time in. And uh, it's the same thing in this in this game. You gotta put that time in. You gotta be consistent and be patient because like you might go for me, it might go whole yeah. three quarters not touching the ball. You gotta keep keep that flowing again because once that ball do come, you gotta be ready. It might change the game. Yeah. So. That's it. That's good advice, actually. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining for us. Sure. Y'all give it up for Ray Ray McLeod.